and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, a plant care video on the China doll plant. I love this house plant. The botanical name on it is Raider Macara Seneca. And it's a fairly new house plant. I mean, it's been around for at least a decade, maybe a little bit less uh, in, 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 as a house plant in the indoor garden, but compared to some plants, it hasn't been around as long. It is, um, it grows like a tree. It will continue to grow and will grow like a tree. It has beautiful, glossy foliage divided into little leaflets that are just, it's just adorable. Um, it's, it, it, I really like too how the fact that the, the foliage is so glossy and the emerald green, green shape of it is just really nice. This plant is native to the subtropical mountain, mountainous regions in regions of in Asia, and uh, hence the name China doll. Uh, the, and, and actually in its native habitat, that these are evergreen trees um, that get pretty good sized. Um, they will reach um, 25, 30 feet tall and can even get to as high as 90 feet tall. <laughs> now, don't worry, that's not gonna happen in your indoor garden. Generally, in, in, when grown indoors in the indoor garden, this plant will reach from four to six feet um, at maturity. So it, it does get to be a nice uh, tree for your indoor garden, but it's not going to take over anything by any means. There are other plants grown indoors that do get bigger. So as mentioned, um, it is uh, native to subtropical tropical, uh, regions um, um, in Asia um, and southern China and Taiwan, that area. So, um, and in your indoor garden, uh, a smaller plant. It will also flower in its native habitat, but generally doesn't do that indoors. Okay, so how to keep this beauty healthy and happy and looking good in your indoor garden. So China doll plants, in terms of lighting, they need plenty of bright but indirect light. So uh, you do not want them in a really hot, really, really lit up window but you do want them a, a, a little ways back from that window because you do want to make sure that you give them sufficient lighting. They, so if you want to, in the, in the spectrum here, medium to bright indirect light and they will thrive. So as mentioned, a spot near a window, but not in a window, spot near a southern window, is good eastern eastern window you can get a little bit closer uh, and that th that generally has some really nice light in the morning they also do really well with full spectrum lighting artificial lighting so it, say you have an eastern window you could also supplement with full spectrum lighting to give them that light that they that they really need now in terms of watering they need a moist but well-drained soil, like, like a lot of houseplants, right? Uh, so you want to water when the soil on the top of the plant is dry to the touch. So about like the first half inch, max inch is dried out. So you really don't want them to dry out. They could drop leaves, but then again, as you know, if you watch my root rot series, you do definitely don't want the soil to be soggy and perpetually wet because you could set it up for root rot. So on the moisture meter, I would say when it just gets to the four on the moisture meter, it was on the five and it's just getting to the four. So uh, you really don't want to get to the three or close to the three if you can avoid it. Additionally, uh, even though you are keeping it nice and moist, they do not like to be sitting in water. So as most plants, most houseplants, you do not want to leave them sitting in a, a saucer of water after watering. 
this, but this is especially an issue for the China doll, uh, which will get root rot pretty quickly and will and and will have problems growing as well. Make sure whatever pot you have the plant in it, that it has excellent drainage. If you notice the leaves of the plant are turning yellow, um, that is um, an indication that the plant is not getting enough water or it seems dry the leaves seem dry so uh, so keep that in mind if you start to uh, you do want to make sure that it is getting enough water so if you see those yellowy leaves check and see is it is that the issue uh, alternately it could be over watering and root rot um, yellow leaves can be a sign of that too so more frequently though with the china doll it's not enough water but do use your moisture meter use your finger pick the plant up see if it's lightweight if it's lightweight it needs water if it's still heavy it does not need water uh, but it's best when you're not sure about watering to check several ways i do have videos on how to check plants for to see if they're they they need watering and i will link that provide links below okay so temperature uh, and humidity. So due to the fact that they are from tropical regions, China doll plants really do appreciate a warm and preferably humid home if you can provide it. So in terms of temperature range, Fahrenheit, 65 to 75 degrees is their sweet spot. They don't like drafts, so make sure you don't put it in front of a window that's open a lot or in front of a door that opens quite a bit or even near um, drafty things like we, like a fan that's running all the time. While you do want your plants, and I do have um, a video on providing them some air circulation, you do want your plants to have some air, air circulation, but if you're running a fan constantly, the um, this uh, china doll is not going to be happy with you uh, so in terms of humidity now humidity is always one of the bigger issues especially if you live in a drier climate okay so they really do prefer things on the humid side like a lot of houseplants because they are from tropical regions of the world so if you're very if you're in a very dry climate uh, and say your humidity is 40 in the 40s, you may have problems with China doll. China doll may drop leaves on you. So in that case, do whatever you can to increase humidity. Use a humidity tray. And also you can mist if you mist several times a day, that will help putting the plant in a humid area of the, of the, of the house will also help. So the kitchen where it tends to be a little more humid because of all the work, all the work going on with water, bathroom, same thing. Also a reminder, as I always love to remind people that house plants, transpire when they transpire they emit humidity into the air which means they will transpire each other if you put them together so that means the more plants you have the better because they will humidify each other so uh, putting the china doll with other plants will also help with that and if need be a humidifier they would love you if you uh, provided humidity via a humidifier as well i do have a video on how to do that too so some good ideas for keeping that humidity high temperature at a, at a comfortable range for them as well okay so fertilizing so you want to fertilize the china doll plant with a well-balanced fertilizer i do have a my green gourmet houseplant food i'll put a link below they do like that uh, but any any in terms of if you're going to get a fertilizer do get an organic fertilizer i talk a lot about in videos and I have videos on this about why you want to use organic fertilizers on your plants and especially on the china doll because the china doll is a little bit of a picky plant it doesn't like uh, extremes as you're noticing it doesn't like extreme temperature it doesn't like extreme mo uh, uh, air circulation it doesn't like extreme in terms of really dry conditions so the um would use a, a, a well-balanced organic fertilizer and generally speaking you want to do it spring through summer you uh summer late summer early fall stop then and then resume again in spring 
So pruning this plant is important because it, they do tend to like to shoot up and, 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 uh, and grow upwards. Uh, and they can get a little leggy, a little sparser on the foliage. They don't have this really nice full effect anymore. So if you prune them back, when they start to, they, you can notice they're starting to shoot up. You prune them back a bit, that will help them remain bushy. I do have house, uh, do have uh, videos on how to prune houseplants. I'll um, put a link for you too to show you how to get it to, to re where to cut so that it will remain bushy. Now, when you do prune it, don't prune too much, okay? You never want to prune more than one third of a plant at any time, but with China doll, I would even go lower than that. I would go to one eighth or one quarter of the plant so you don't shock it. Because if you shock it, it is going to drop leaves on you and you will um, not be happy with you. So uh, better to do a, a little judicious pruning frequently when it starts to shoot up as opposed to trying to do some major renovation after it's all leggy and lanky and stuff like that. Okay, so the soil for the China doll. First of all, this plant likes to be on the pot bound side. So that means that if you watch some of my videos, you'll see that I'll say you need a two third plant to one third pot ratio with this plant, which is pretty much what it's, what it's in right now, as you can see here. You can go even to three quarter plant to one quarter pot ratio and the plant will still be okay. Now things to, the, the, if the plant starts to slow down in growth and it starts to look like it's that the leaves aren't growing as big and you've ascertained that it's not overwatering, underwatering, etc., then it is time to repot. So when it is time to repot, use a moist, well-draining soil. I'll put some links for good soils down below. You want a soil that has some uh, core or some uh, some um, peat moss in it to retain moisture and nutrients. At the same time, you do want some drainage, so it's not something with perlite in it, or you can add pumice to also uh, make it make it drain better as well. I'll put a link for my pumice product down there as well. Okay, so. Uh, as mentioned, as I'd mentioned, the China doll can be a little bit on the particular side. So what you want to do is be careful with it in terms of not overdoing anything, not overwatering, not underwatering, etc. cetera, uh, because what will happen is it will drop leaves if it's not happy. And that's its way of saying, hey, I'm not happy. And so it could drop a leaves and sometimes a lot of leaves on you. Another plant that does that is Ficus benjamina. So so if you see it dropping a bunch of leaves, you don't panic, but it's just time to look at, okay, what changed recently? Was it the lighting? Maybe it's the time of year. Maybe where you have it is getting a lot more or a lot less light all of a sudden uh, with the change of, of year. And the temperature, is the temperature, did the temperature change uh, quite a bit recently? Or did you repot it and then it said, oh, yeah, I'm mad at you now or whatever because you repotted me and now I'm leaving dropping leaves. And that sometimes that just means that's a bit of a shock and you just have to wait until it, it settles down again. Uh, so, and, and watering, underwatering, overwatering, did you drought it, uh, etc. cetera. So uh, when, if it does drop, just try to correct whatever the problem is and uh, give it a little bit of time and it usually will come back for you. If it is root rot, however, if you ascertain it's root rot and I have a root rot playlist, uh, then you're gonna have to deal with repotting it and treating it. Uh, but if it's one of the other issues, it, a lot of times it's just correcting what you're doing. Say you're not watering enough or you're watering too much and um, unless it's root rot with the watering too much and then give it a little bit of time and talk to it and tell it that you're going to, you're going to be, you will be better next time and, uh, and then um, wait for it to, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, feel better and look better for you as well. And please let me know if you have any other questions about this plant or anything in the comment se section below. And that is it for growing this beauty. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.
And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.